Hello everybody and welcome to this Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012 existing customer session. My name is Ross Thorpe. I'm a senior product marketing manager with Microsoft Dynamics. And I'm here in London, UK today to talk to one of our um, early adopter customers about their initial experiences and their long-term plans with Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012. So I'd like to start by introducing my guest here. Hi, Riff. This is uh, Riff Camille, uh, who is a CIO of uh, UK-based food services industries company, uh, JJ Food Service. And he's been working with Microsoft Dynamics for a, a number of years. So, Riff, I, maybe I could start by asking you just to introduce yourself and to introduce JJ Food Service. Many thanks, Ross. It's a pleasure to talk about AX 2012. Now the product has been released to manufacturing. It's great that I can talk about it publicly. So a bit about JJ's. Our business is worth about $230 million a year. Primarily, we serve the restaurant industry and any, part, any organization that serves food, for example, the education sector. We employ 800 members of staff across our six UK distribution centers and we serve 750,000 orders a year, which is around about 24 million food drink items. So as with uh, previous releases, you've built a strong business case which allows your corporate organization to, to, to drive the upgrade. So what were the, the business drivers for the upgrade to AX 2012? Well, we selected AX version 3 back in 2004 to replace our legacy RP system. Don't get me wrong, I don't miss those good old days at all. With our legacy ERP, we had the system crashing all the time, and I used to watch it for hours on the weekends doing batch jobs. But since, I've had, since we had AX um, and been working together with our Dynamics partner, Ebex, we've had a long-term goal to have a single system running our business and one version of the truth. Um, Dynamics AX has allowed us to achieve that goal over the years. Also, um, we've seen our ERP solution and, and the platform enable innovation within our company and help deliver a competitive advantage and differentiator in the marketplace. Our Dynamics AX solution has been a great tool to help us serve our business and our customers better. For this reason, uh, since we've had AX, which is over seven years now, we've had no need to purchase another so-called best of breed system or create other data silos in the business. Um, AX has allowed all our customers, vendors, and employees to have access to one version of the truth for both business data and business logic. And they can access this from a rugged mobile device, from the web, or a desktop client. We've consistently implemented the latest release very shortly after it was made available to help us drive the business forwards. So when we got the chance to be part of the Dynamics AX 2012 TAP program, we jumped at it. And I guess because of your involvement in the TAP program, you've had more of a chance than many other uh, AX customers to really get to know the program, get to know the solution, and uh, draw your conclusions as to, to the, the, the benefits of the solution. Based on that experience, what uh, jumps out at you from the product? What uh, parts of the products have impressed you most? Well, before I ask that question, um, I'd really like to send out my thanks to all the Microsoft employees, um, the other TAP customers and partners that have been working with us on this program for the last three years. Uh, it's been really Great pleasure to work with such a smart group of people um, all over the world. But to answer your question, uh, I think Microsoft has really thought about what ERP should be. They shared this vision with us back in 2008. And since then, they really committed to making this vision a reality. Um, as for specific enhancements, some that spring to mind, um, for business users, I think case management is a really amazing tool that's going to allow us to quickly and cost-effectively take many of the hidden business processes that might live in Excel spreadsheets today and bring those into Dynamics AX. And because it's in Dynamics AX, it's covered by all the auditing, security, and other inherent features that the solution offers. From a developer point of view, features like data effectiveness, which will save hours and days from each of our development projects, will allow us to have data effective features all over the system. And from a Microsoft Stack point of view, items like Windows Communications Foundations, which is being added to the AX server, will make Dynamics AX a first-class player in the service-orientated architecture world. Um, I could go on, there's so many more. So I know that now you've already completed your data and code upgrade. So what was that upgrade experience like compared to previous upgrade experiences you've had? As with previous releases, uh, we've taken a phased approach to this. So first we implement the core ERP platform, and then we later on will start implementing all the new features in, in, that, in that release. Um, I'm really, really impressed with the data upgrade tools in Dynamics AX 2012. Many customers like 
us have had this solution for a long time now, AX. Um, and our CNAV database size has grown over the years. We're currently at 700 gig. So reliability of an upgrade tool that won't have us bringing the system down is really important. And in AX2012, the amount of downtime is, is minimal. So most of the upgrade can be done while your system is running. And did that upgrade uh, lead to any significant reductions in the number of customizations in your solution or in the, your need for add-on or ISV solutions to, to meet your business needs? So our Dynamics partner, uh, who is Ebex, um, has a solution for our call center and other parts of our business. So this solution is now based on the core Dynamics AS 2012 functionality and model, which is a great um, starting point for standardizing on, on this new bunch of features. Um, We've also taken this opportunity to remodel our customer data. Um, we had our own customer model in the past that we've developed in previous versions of Dynamics AX, but in Dynamics AX 2012, we've removed these customizations and now deploying the out-of-the-box model. Once we're live, we'll start removing stuff we've built over the years, such as CRM and auditing features, workflow type of stuff, um, and start really using all this stuff that's now available out of the box in AX 2012. So with your code and data upgrade in, in place, what's your next move? Well, what are your plans to, to, to increase and expand the capabilities of the product uh, to drive the usage of the product into a broader footprint in your organization? Well, without adding any new capabilities, we've already seen benefits from the upgrade um, of just the technology foundation, really around system performance. An example would be master planning, which can now run 24-7 all day long. So this helps our product team never miss out on sudden demand changes um, from our customers. So in, in the UK, in London, uh, the weather changes all the time. So you know, in the afternoon, it might get really hot, and then we see a sudden peak in, or demand for ice cream. So master planning and running all the time has really been helpful. Uh, looking ahead, though, we have some major projects planned around building APIs and apps for the mobile devices, which will allow our customers to get much more self-service done and get deeper visibility into the system even down to the level of knowing which person in our warehouse has just picked a packet of chicken. And thanks to WCF, or Windows Communication Foundation, we're easily able to get other companies to build these apps for us. It doesn't have to, doesn't have to be ourselves if we don't have those skills in-house, but while keeping all the knowledge and the rules and the business processes inside of Dynamics AX. Having this sort of multi-channel capability of mobile is, is really important, and, and I think the consumer space today really wants the ability to be able to, you know, maybe place an app, uh, order on an app on the mobile phone, and then maybe later on in the day, call the call center and change it. And then maybe when they're coming to collect, they might edit it again in the branch. So it's extremely important that we have, you know, this logic all in AX in one single source. Um, we're continuing to innovate all the mobile apps we have for our existing employees. Our, our delivery team have many apps today, and we believe X2012 will make it much more easier to, uh, for us to expose uh, the features to those apps. Um, we're having also plans to roll out AX2012 in our warehouse environment with ruggedized touchscreen PCs and mobile devices. So definitely the deployment, the footprint, the amount of users in our business using AX2012 is increasing. So one of the key focus areas that, that underlies and, and powers many of the new capabilities in, in Microsoft Dynamics AX2012 is what we call pervasive interoperability. So how important is, is this for you, the way that Microsoft Dynamics AX2012 works together with other Microsoft products and technologies, and, and what benefit does that give your business? Well, we already just talked about how Microsoft Stack has helped us uh, around building apps and APIs going forwards, but I can give you some other examples of how Dynamics AX interoperability with other Microsoft products is going to add value to us. Um, when we moved to Dynamics AX with uh, Microsoft SQL, we got a full range of BI business intelligence tools which allowed our users to make better decisions faster um, than ever before. Over the years, the Dynamics AX and the SQL team have kept improving business intelligence. And in the future, we definitely see the ability to use data mining tools that exist in SQL Server analytical services to make better future predictions or trying to understand what the customer might do next so that we're more profitable. Um, we've also been a great uh, use of Microsoft Link. And from Win Dynamics AX, we can see um, the link or present status. So you can imagine that you have a field salesperson on the road and they've just put an order in the system and me back in the office, I can see that they're online and I can instantly communicate with them if they're available. And I don't have to lead the AX client to do that. On the development side, our development team is really looking forward to all the great tools that Microsoft Visual Studio bring 
and how that's going to increase and improve our development processes that we do in AX. So it sounds like you've got a lot of interesting and exciting work uh, ahead of you. So Riff, I'd really like to thank you for the time that you've you spent with us today and the, the extended period of time you've spent on the, the AX uh, TAP engagement. But I'm not going to let you go yet. I've got one last question for you before you can. I just wonder if you would, uh, what you would say to those AX customers who are out there currently considering whether they should be looking at upgrading to Dynamics AX 2012. First, I'd say don't get stuck on old software. Um, the more often you do the upgrade, the easier it gets. And I've done it a few times now, so I definitely can say that for sure. Delaying upgrades makes it much more painful and risky in the long term. Um, my guys in my team uh, don't want to be running on old systems, so no, no IT department wants to run on old system. Then I would say you know, take a good look at the new release, uh, both from a technology point of view and the new features and capabilities. Evaluate what new solutions will allow you to do out of the box and you know look at which uh, customizations you have in place today which you might be able to remove um, think about the real business value that these capabilities would generate in your organization from the time and cost savings and improvement uh, point of view um, user engagement simplification of the product support maintenance etc um, if you're like us you'll find that many benefits in uh, upgrading to dynamics as 2012 and i really think it's a compelling business decision okay riff thank you for your help today and good luck with your continued rollout of your Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012 implementation. No problem, Ross. Thank you for having me. Thank you.